This has been a busy time for all of us with all the changes as far as the coronavirus, new uh, uh, regulations and so forth. We're trying to figure all this out. Back about 44 years ago when Christine and I came up to start Harvester Baptist Church, we were prepared for all kind of uh, issues, uh, sacrifice, financial sacrifice didn't really happen. Uh, opposition in the community didn't really happen with that either. But one thing that really surprised me was something that I really struggled with was the matter of fear. It was the fear of failure. That we would come up, we would start the church, we would maybe get a few people together, and then it just wouldn't work out. And I guess maybe it was pride, I'm not really sure, but it just really bothered me. And there came a point, uh, the Lord spoke to me, it wasn't an audible voice, but it, it almost was like that, to where the Lord asked me, um, whose church is it? And I thought, well, it's yours, Lord. He said, well, if I want it to fail, let it fail. And that, that made a difference. That I was reminded this church is the Lord's church, it's not my church. And that I just needed to be faithful of just doing God's work and let Him take care of it. I think Timothy in the Bible was probably about the same way. Timothy was a young pastor. I'm not sure if he started a church, but he definitely was pastoring a church. And it seemed like he really struggled with fear. Paul wrote to Timothy in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. And he said, Let no one despise your youth, but be an example of the believers in word, in conduct, in love, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Now, Timothy was a young man. We're not sure how young he was. But he apparently was younger than most of the men in his church. And perhaps some would look down at him because he was a young guy. And Paul said, don't, do, don't let him do that. You just outlive them. Not in length of life, but in how he lived. To just keep being faithful and trusting God. And do his work and, and let God take care of it. I saw this the other day on from Fox News, and it was about a, I said a girl six teaches Bible verses to brother to ease co coronavirus fear. Here's what it says. Shalita Brundage, a comedian and mother of four, shared a video of her six-year-old daughter teaching her brother a Bible verse to help ease his fear after seeing the hysteria on the news about COVID-19. She says, my son Brandon has crippling anxiety because of his autism diagnosis, she told Fox News. We watch the news every day, and he was watching it, and was taking it all in, all the fear and panic. It just made him so scared. His sister Cameron noticed him tensing up and quickly grabbed his hand. Facing one another, Brandon Seven repeated after Cameron, phrase by phrase, as she said, but God did not give me a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. Her mother says she prays for everybody and remembered the verse 2 Timothy 1.7 after learning it at Fellowship Missionary Baptist Church in Minneapolis. The siblings hugged as everyone exclaimed, Amen. I say amen too. I guess Timothy even at the end of Paul's life, perhaps still struggled with fear. And Paul reminded him, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. Let's pray. Father, thank you that you're not the author of fear. You're the author of strength. And we pray for that peace day by day that we don't have to understand all the things that are going on. But we know who controls our lives and we can lean on you. So I pray for every one of, of our people. I pray for everyone in the world. 
for those that do not know Christ, they can turn to Him. And for those that do know Christ, they will turn to Him and trust Him. For these things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen.